Okay, welcome back guys. Uh, hopefully the recording is kicked back in. Uh, so quick break there and let's get back underway. So what do we need next? We need a bit of a meeting hall possibly. We've set the pastures up. We could do with a meeting hall in the bedroom. So let's go straight to the meeting hall and bedrooms. So as you can see I've unpaused it from exactly where we left off. So we're going to make a meeting hall and bedrooms. Let's, let's make it down a bit deep here. So we've got, we've got some decent stone down here. Let's, let's go deep down there. Yeah, why not? Let's go here. Uh, how many levels is that? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, let's dig into the hematite a little. So, I'm going to go with a, a a pretty standard type of meeting hall, actually. As uh, I'm not going to do anything fancy with this one, because this is the, the default one. You, you Later on, you could go big and go grand, etc. And if you're unsure, um, without giving too many spoilers away, you will be getting nobles, etc. Uh, you'll get like a mayor... You'll get all sorts of things. You could possibly get a king or a queen that will come along. Um, it, there can be there can be all sorts. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to make a very, very simple meeting hall, just like that. Uh, and off the side of it, actually, I'm going to have... I probably will have it quite a bit bigger. And I need to try and think of this, because... <laughs> as you can tell, my, my settings are... It's like it's like, mm, I want it to be just this sort of size, but uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two little sides like that. And all that is, is simply a food and drink area, storage area. That's where the main uh, source of my food and drink will be uh, within this fortress, certainly early on anyway. So they're going to dig this out, uh, digging into the hematite. Don't always leave stone behind. So you might notice that, you know, they're digging through this and there's not a stone left behind. That's because the miners are not highly skilled enough. So when they become uh, legends in the, in the stone crafting, you, you'll get a lot more stones left behind. So you can see you left quite a few decent hematite stones behind there. Get excited about that because that's pop, that's iron right there that I can make weapons with uh, and armor, etc. And all sorts of things later on. Uh, but you don't want to go too far into that straight away. Certainly, say, the gem industry, etc. would be my our main industry. Uh, quick and easy to make money uh, and rock crafts will be uh, quick and easy to make money. You don't want to go like ape and you don't want to start smoothing walls out and all sorts of things because what that does, if I press Z, it creates wealth which you can't see at the moment because we haven't made a broker uh, so that's not really going to show you much but it creates wealth uh, and everything, everything in this game is tied to that wealth that you create for your fort. So if you're a really affluent Say you've got gold in the walls or something like that. You're digging out gold. You're starting to make stuff with gold. You're smelting down stuff. You're making all sorts of random stuff with gold. You're creating massive amounts of wealth. And that wealth will attract goblins, orcs, trolls, whatever, mega beasts. All sorts of things will come along. And you don't really want that. Uh, certainly not now. Let's put it that way. Uh, so we just go back up to the top here. And you can see they're just derping around. Not a great deal happening. So what I'm going to do now is because... Actually, to be fair, I've only got one idler at the moment. I haven't got that many idlers. So that's probably because they are still getting the wood. Yes, they are. There you go. You can see my carpenter going out there, chopping the wood down. My woodsman needs an axe to do that, by the way. If you can't just set anyone to do that. Uh, he does need an axe, which you can create with the iron. Uh, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So let's go back down here. It's not that exciting watching him dig it out. Uh, although maybe maybe it is. Maybe you like this bit. Maybe, maybe you find it therapeutic. But what we're going to do... Uh, we need to make some stone, uh, some chairs, some tables. So to do that, we're going to need some workshops, uh, and we need to make that as our ma main meeting hall. And what I mean by main meeting hall is, it will at the moment, everybody is once they're idle, they're coming back to this area here. And what we want to do, we want them to go to that area there. Is the meeting hall, and they gain social skills. They gain, they'll, they'll eat there. That's their main main area of food and etc. and enjoyment. That's what they're going to do. That's, the, that's what the dwarves do in their life. Uh, so, oh, we struck petrified wood. Well, how exciting is that? Uh, what I could do with is making, if I've not dug into them, it's going in here, and we could do with making this area dug out as well. And this is actually probably what, wrong what I'm doing here. In fact, there's no probably about it. It's very wrong what I'm doing here. Uh, because I'm assigning too much work at the moment. You need to you get, get them done. Otherwise, you just, you'll, you'll eco-stall as it's known as in... in, in RTS games, you'll, you'll have an eco stall. So possibly I could start. Oh, okay, they've already gone into there. I was going to stop creating that area, but that's fine. I'm just going to let them dig it out. Uh, and, and then we'll create our masons up here because we need a mason to create the stuff. Uh, we'll also do a jewelers. And we'll also create a craft dwarfs. 
Uh, so once they get these things going underway, way, so if you if you're ever unsure what you're doing here, you know what's happening. There's there's some pretty easy things. While the, while these guys are digging out in the background, let's show you. Let's go to Dwarf Wiki. So if we go to the main page of Dwarf Wiki, uh, there is a quick guide on here, uh, a quick start guide, and it, it really does guide you through the the, the simple things. Uh, there's a great little. Uh, image here that has done it's quite old actually this image is it's it, which is why there's a few things in there um, a little bit wrong so you can see like dig muddy cave don't need to really do that anymore you used to have to dig out make a muddy area with water like use use water to filter through it used to be a bit more complicated would you believe it uh, uh, but this is a, a simple guide and it, it shows you just basic the basics of of how like a flow graph of what you should be doing within the game I know it's bad when the game needs a flow graph but that's that's pretty much the the, the meat and bones of it so you can see I haven't made a wet refuse pile etc so let's go and do that uh, so what I've started to do lately actually is to change my position of refuse pile so I'm sort of caught of whether I want to do that right now I used to do it used to be nice and easy you used to do a refuse pile and a graveyard straight outside somewhere outside your area dump all the crap don't want it don't need it get rid now we've got a problem we get necromancers come along and they'll resurrect things and, and all sorts of horribleness um, so what I'm actually gonna do is dig it down I'm not 100% sure whether that helps but I suspect it does it's gonna keep it out of eyesight I think it's eye an eyesight thing I think I may be very, very wrong on that. But again, it, it requires digging, which is something these guys are pretty tied up in doing. So it's not the most exciting thing in the world to watch. But I'm going to do it anyway. So we need a refuse pit and a graveyard as well to go along with this. Probably not the best idea to show you guys this at the same time while I'm doing everything else. But I get this problem that I'm kind of bored away in as well. There's no way you can speed it up or slow it down either. The game is purely locked by your frames per second. <laughs> you may have noticed that I am creating things very much like a tower going downwards. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the way I build things. It, it, it would actually make more sense if I did it... Um, straight out and just dig it, dug it all down because I do it in the same place anyway but I can't I still can't get used to the fact that you can dig over Z levels which probably doesn't mean anything to you guys the Z level is the uh, the number in the bottom corner here it hasn't quite got my the grasp of it yet but while you guys are sat waiting so what we will do we need table and chairs to make this a, a, a great hall it doesn't look so great at the moment it looks like a bunch of rock dug out uh, which is what it is but we don't want to make it overly exasperated. Later on in the game you're going to be smoothing the rock out, uh, you're going to be encrusting it with gems and, and all sorts of all sorts of things to make it opulent and attract the best of the world. Uh, also attract the best beasties in the world. You want to fight those beasts later on. Uh, but as it is at the moment we don't we don't want to be fighting yet. We don't we don't want no, none of that. We haven't got a military, we've got seven dwarves uh, and four of those are pretty tied up and busy at the moment. What do we just hit there? Chrysoprass, okay, so that's a gem of some form, which is what this green thing is sat here. So we're going to use that for later. We want, we want gems. Gems are good. Gems are outrageous, truly outrageous. Uh, anyone that's come from League of Legends will know exactly what I'm talking about there. Uh, it's telling me I've hit Hematite again, which is nothing new. What I am seeing is potentially Galena there. Let's have a look at that. What is that? Is that Galena? That's oh, it's Magnetite. What's the oh oh ah Magnetite and Hematite. Oh okay. Okay, this is good. Uh, and again, if you're ever unsure, go back to your dwarf wiki, type it in. Um, it's magnetite, wasn't it? I just hit mag -ne -tite, If I can spell it right. Uh, which is again, it's another iron ore type uh, item. So, uh, what I, what I get excited about this is for is because uh, it also sometimes contains platinum, which is great in itself. Uh, but hematite and limonite, uh, etc. You can make iron with this. So, iron is is the backbone of this game. What I do need is flux stone, which I haven't found any flux stone yet. So, until I find flux stone, I'm not going to get too carried away. I can buy it off the caravan. So, later on, we'll get a caravan come along, uh, which you'll trade with. But as it is at the moment, we've got nothing to trade. We've got, we've got nothing at the moment. We're, no, we're nowhere. If you've not found hematite or magnetite, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. 
if you found some other silver or something like that. If you found silver, for instance, which is uh, Galena um, and, and various other stones as well, uh, but Galena is the main one, um, then you want to be building warhammers, silver warhammers. Uh, silver warhammers are, are just as strong as steel warhammers, and but you know they're, they're so much easier to create because all you're doing is simply using sti uh, one bit of silver rather than having to go through the process of making steel, which is quite elongated. We'll go into that later. So it's a pretty complicated process to follow. But you guys, you, I'm sure you'll suss it out. If you're ever unsure, by the way, feel free to leave comments on the, the Let's Play. Um, it's less than ideal uh, in YouTube comments, but honestly, you may find other users that are watching this will help you out. And if you're really, really unsure and... Uh, you're not really finding it in Dwarf Wiki, then then go to Reddit. Let's go to Reddit. Let's go to Reddit. You don't want to go to League of Legends Reddit. Instead, you want to be going to... You don't want to be going to MMA. You want to be going to Dwarf Fortress Reddit. That's where you want to be going to. Uh, the Dwarf Fortress Reddit. This is where you go. And this is Just ask your questions in there. The chances are people have already asked them before. Um, that's someone's doing an adventurous playthrough Masterwork. That's interesting. I might watch that one. Masterwork is a, another mod, which I will be doing a Let's Play on. But I thought, since I haven't done a 34.11, let's let's not get straight into it. Anyway, so we've created our area here. Uh, I want another one as well. Um, so hopefully they can come back and finish that off in a bit. So we want P, and we want this for refuse. So what the refuse is, is it's all sorts of just bits of crap that will get uh, picked up as you go along. Uh, I will want a door on there as well. Uh, but I haven't got a door at the moment. It's the same. I'm going to make this one a graveyard. And again, I want a door on there. Because you can get miasma created. Which is big, nasty, horrible clouds of putrid stuff uh, that will get created. You don't want that. You don't want that. That's bad. Um, so you've got to make sure you don't get it. Which is not rocket science really, is it? Uh, and what it does, it, you know, it makes your dwarves ill. All sorts of things. But we're creating it inside. Mainly for the fact that I'm a little bit worried about the necromancers these days. Uh, and I'm fairly new to 34.11, so I don't want to get too carried away. There's quite a few new things in here which I kind of want to show you, but I, as it is at the moment, I'm just going to stay with a, a fairly standard Dwarf Fortress. Uh, so, we want to make this a corpses. Why? That's where corpses are going to go, and that's where they're going to live. So that's good. So we've got corpses set up. Uh, we've also got this stone area set up, so it we've... Is now. We know into summer, so that's our first season passed. Uh, so if you're unsure, and you know, that's going to be where if you've got a different seed rotation, different things will happen. There's all sorts of things that that happen off this. I've seen lots of people walking past my apartment, which means the Olympic torch is probably nearby. Uh, how exciting is that? I'm doing a let's play while the Olympic torch goes past my house. Thoroughly exciting. So let's build a workshop. B, W. And again, this time, we want our Mason's Workshop, which is very simply M. That's a Mason's Workshop. That's what we want. We're going to stick it in the corner there. We're going to make it out of siltstone. I'm good with that. It's not a useful stone, as per se. Uh, for this time, though, I'm not going to make it so I put stone here. Instead, I'm going to put furniture storage here. So U. So P and U. Uh, I don't... Th there's not much point in making a stone area. Uh, because there's stone bloody everywhere, um, so we don't want we don't want just a particular point. And what I'm going to do now is tell these guys to dig this area out as well. Uh, and we're going to have a crafts dwarf, and we're going to have a jeweler's. So we're going to continue on my path of creating lots and lots of stuff. And why are we creating it? Well, we want furniture. We want the jewelers. Well, it's it's pretty much self-explanatory. You're going to find these jewels. You can see them here. These are jewels. On the ground here, they are, to be precise, they are Christ, whatever, whatever they are, Christ in Paris, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, what in the hell have I told this to do? Oh, furniture store. That's all right. That's why they're bringing it. So what they're actually doing is bringing the barrels that are made, the wood barrels, and any rock pots, etc. Uh, they've also brought the um, uh, the forge. You need a, you need an anvil to make the forge later on. Uh, they're bringing buckets. They're bringing all sorts of stuff, and it's all coming from here. They're getting all the crap from here. So every time you make a storage area, they're like, Ah, we've got that. We've got something that can go in there. And suddenly they'll start bringing it down. Uh, if you're unsure, your idols will suddenly hit zero. So you go, Oh, a lot of people are carrying the stuff here. Uh, so what that's happening in, as you can see, the farmer bringing it in. Uh, so while we're waiting on this, while they're digging this area out, let's let's get Lazy Noob back open. Let's load Dwarf Therapist. Now, 
If you're unsure of what Dwarf Therapist is, let's, let's, let's try and get that over here. So there's Dwarf Therapist. Or Dwarf the Rapist, if, <laughs> if you want to read it wrong. Uh, which quite a few people do. Uh, so, what this is, you can read the dwarfs. This is basically connected to the back end of Dwarf Fortress now. And this is a simple management tool to handle what your dwarves are doing. And trust me, the ba I, in fact, I couldn't even tell you how to do it in the game anymore. I've, I use it that often. I really couldn't. So, I mean, you can do unit list, and I think you can maybe go to the guy there. Um, no, you can. I think you can view him, and then you can enter his thoughts and preferences. This is good. This this tells you all all about his stuff. Um, but you can customize him. You can you can basically tell him what you want to do. You set nicknames, set relationships, etc. Or not set relationships. See what his relationships are. Um, but honestly, there's there's somewhere in there you you got to look at him, and you got you got to tell him what to do. So much easier. All you do in this, and bear in mind you pause the game to commit it. Uh, which I'll do now. You pause, and and all we're doing in this is say I want a I want a guy doing the fishing. Yeah, that's that that sounds fair enough. Uh, at the moment, this guy's doing farming, etc. Yeah, you're good. I want to keep you doing that. Uh, he's going to be stonecrafting, woodcrafting, gem cutting. Okay, but that's fine. Um, is it carpenter? I want kind of someone that's not that important. Unfortunately, everybody is kind of important at the moment. Uh, but we're going to use him. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to say I want you to do fishing, fish cleaning, and fish dissection, and then commit. And that has told that guy in Dwarf Thorpist is is directly told it how to do it, and that's what you're going to do, uh, which is great. So immediately it's so much easier. Trust me. Uh, this is why we need beds, by the way. You can see this miner here. He's fast asleep. Fast asleep on the job. He needs a bed, he needs a good rest. And if I were to look at him now, he's probably going to say he's slept on a hard ground or something like that. Let's, can we have a look at him? Uh, his thoughts, what does it say? Uh, da -da -da -um, she likes working outdoors, grumbles only mildly at the weather. Uh, what does it say? She's, it says somewhere, it will say somewhere she's slept on a hard floor. There we go. Let's up the top here. Has been quite content lately. She slept on a rough cave floor. It literally tells you everything that's happened. She slept on the dirt recently. She talked with a friend lately. It's obviously the other miner. She's complained of the lack of chairs lately. She's been dissatisfied at work lately. So she's not that happy. Uh, which is why we need to get this thing done. So, you know, you're not happy. Dig bloody faster. That's what we say. Dig faster. I probably redlined the microphone there. I have knocked the mic up so I don't need to quite strain my voice. Uh, for... This Dwarf Fortress tutorial. If you're unaware of what I do, I am a, a game commentator. I commentate on mainly League of Legends at the moment. Um, you can feel free to check that out if you're interested in the game. Uh, you may well have seen me at a event. I will be doing uh, many of the big events coming up in Season 2, which is wonderful news. As it is at the moment, we have Poland coming up in July. But as it is, we're just doing Dwarf Fortress. I say just, just, so many people out there would be thinking... This game's insane! Why are you playing it? I can't understand what you're doing. I'm actually just waiting for these miners to get their asses in gear. You can see you see them are actually having a meeting up here. Because they need a little bit of social time. Oh hello, what have we got here? We've got some units on, on the map and they are ravens. We've got ravens flying around. And the ravens actually will scare off uh, your dwarves. So hopefully we get some hunters on later on, and uh, if you got like fishermen etc., they'll they'll fly over it. They'll scare the dwarves. The dwarves won't be happy with those ravens flying around. It'll it'll make them annoyed. Which is again is why you need stuff to be down, deeper down. Uh, I really need to get some cats actually to stop these. You see this little, you see this thing here? There's a little crit around here somewhere. Look at all these all these bloody ravens. Annoying us. As long as they don't come near my guys, it doesn't matter. So, I'm rambling a little. That's mainly because I'm waiting. I'm waiting for things to be built. Aha! We have this built. Okay, so Q. And we're going to our mason here. We want... What we want is a simple rotation. So we want chair, which is a throne. A and C is a chair, which you can see here. Rock throne. There's all sorts of things you can build. Uh, feel free to dig through it. Uh, and then we want a table, which is T. And then we want a door, which is D. Uh, and actually, what I want is a couple of those on repeat. Um, and the door and repeat. So what they're going to do, and if uh, sorry if you missed that, it's Q over the warehouse again. Uh, to repeat is just R, repeat task. And just if you've got it highlighted, plus or minus again to go through them, and you can you can tell it to repeat the task. You can also, if you get really carried away, when you get a, a uh, manager on the run, you can you can s 
specify exactly what storage you, I think don't think you need that exactly think when you're creating the task no you can't do it yet. you can't do it without a manager but you can basically specify the exact stockpile that they wanted to pull the stuff from from uh, and certainly on this stockpile here you can you can assign wheelbarrows etc and what you want to give here so you could only have a particular type of stone that they would use to create these things as it is at the moment I really don't care uh, but uh, we don't want them using hematite, uh, stuff like that. We don't want them using the metal ores, which is, you know, goes without saying. Ironically, this entire wall is built out of magnetite. Uh, I'm going to be digging that out <laughs> because I want the stone out of that. Uh, we've got our next workshop built here, so let's build a workshop again. This time, we're going to deal with the craft dwarf. So the craft dwarf is R. And there we go. There's the craft dwarf. How exciting that. There goes the Olympic torch, just gone past the house. There it is. How exciting. All complete. That's the Olympic torch bit done for the <laughs> for my town. Uh, they went through earlier. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do here? Well, we want a storage unit. We want. We don't want. We want finished goods this time, though. So finished goods. We're going to go here. And there it is. There's the finished goods. We've struck Jet, apparently. Don't know who Jet is, but we keep striking her. As you can see, I don't use the mouse much. It's more of I'm just using it as a pointer area. So we're built, again, if you missed it, building the craft off here. This is the finished goods, which is why they're suddenly bringing things down here. What are these things they're bringing in here? Oh, they're splints. They don't look like splints, do they? They look like critters. <laughs> uh, and rope, etc. It's been a while since I've played this game, so you'll have to uh, ignore me if I suddenly see things that you guys have got used to seeing in 3411. I haven't. I, I've been trying. I've been meaning to do uh, a let's play for a while, actually, but uh, he kept bringing out so many, so many updates. toady has been on a mission lately, but since I noticed, he seems to have ground to a halt a little bit. I think he's redoing the combat, which is going to be an interesting one. So I saw him mentioning about wrestling where you can do different maneuvers and counter and catch the punch and all sorts of things he's thrown in there. It gets so technical on these things. Which is great. It's why the game's so good. It's the details. The devil in the detail. Uh, so, we've got another workshop area we can dig out here. Uh, this time it's going to be a jeweler's. BWJ. And that is going to go there. We're going to make it out of siltstone. That is wonderful. And again, you guessed it, I'm going to simply make a jeweler area. Uh, feel free to submit questions on these these let's plays. Like I said, I, I will try and come back to them. Try keep trying look at them. Uh, so for this uh, gems area, it's P and E. And what that is going to do is going to shuffle all those gems. The ones appear uh, immediately. I've got no idlers, so they're going to bring them all down to here. Uh, and then I want to make some wooden bins for those gems. So let's go to this this workshop. And we're going to do A and bins. So we want wooden bins to start with. Let's get the bins on the go, which is N, I believe. Yeah, there it is. So A and N. So we, let's get a bunch of wooden bins out. So what are the wooden bins? Well, <coughs> wooden bins are especially useful for this area. So we'd put a bin in there, and you can put about, mm, just like a barrel, you can put about eight items in it, I think it is. Um, so they're going to make the barrel, and they'll put it there. And you can see we've just made some chairs, actually. Some table and chairs, a table and uh, chair there. So well, let's go down to our meeting hall now. Oh, the meeting hall is not quite complete. <laughs> I've I've had them digging out and all sorts of things, haven't I? There we go. So what we're going to do? We want a B. Again, we're building. This time we're doing a chair. So this this list is huge. Trust me. Uh, so the better you learn the keys, then yeah, the better you are. So obviously it's going to be B and C. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just going to make the chairs. Along. I'm going to make it on the back wall here. I think. What should I do in the middle? Hmm. Let's put them one out. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, so there's a jet throne, and we're going to do another one. If you really want to get picky, you could make them of the same material. I'm not that bothered. Not at the moment. Not this early on. You can later on if you're making some sort of grand hall, then yeah, you can make it uh, a little bit more ostentatious. But as it is at the moment, we're just going to stick the rocks there. And actually, the stone mason you can see he's picked up that rock. He's going to go back up here. And he's going to make whatever item he's doing next with it. That's just why he's dragging it back there. Drags it back to his workshop, makes a door or whatever he's doing. I think it's a table, possibly. There's a door there he's made. And Miner's taking the items this time. 
which means they're placing them. So they, they've got to, if you tell it to build it there, they've got to go get the item from the storage. And you can't do it unless you've actually got that item either. Uh, and I'm going to build the door. Stick a door on here. That's fine. Uh, so what are we having up there? So we're having our food storage up here. Um, now you don't need to do it this big. This is this is way too big for, for really its purpose. Um, in fact, it's, it's enormous. It's really for its purpose, but for what I want it, I want to, you know, make a big show of these things. Uh, we don't want unprepared fish in there, so we're having our food up here. Um, I'm fine with eggs, actually. Mm, yeah, go on, we'll keep eggs in there. Plants, I don't want plants, and I don't want the drink. Uh, I'm fine with cheese, don't want seeds, don't leaves, don't want milk plant, don't want fat paste, any of that. Any of that stuff. All we want is meat, egg, fish, and cheese. We are dwarves of simple means. Uh, and this one down the bottom here, I'm going to just do for liquid. Uh, you can do it in the same spot. I'm just, I'm just a bit picky, so I know that. Okay, I'll know later on when I come to quickly look at the storages and say, "Wow, that one's completely chock a block or something like that." So there we go. Nice and easy, job done. Uh, so okay, they've created this chair now, and you go there. We go. So if we go and Q again, Q over the table, we want to make this our dining hall. And you press R, and then just increase the size of it. Well. You can see because I've not got the door there, it's going to spill over. Not a big deal at the moment. Um, we're quite happy to just have it there. If I'd have put the door on the side, I could make it a bit more sizable. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so press enter. And right, okay, so what we're going to do, we want to make this our main meeting hall. You can have it as just a dining room. Uh, people go there and they'll use that as a dining room. Uh, you'll definitely want to use that later on in the game because when you dig it deeper down, uh, you want people just to use certain dining halls. So, so they'll use the dining hall whichever is nearest to them. If they're doing nothing, then they'll go to the meeting hall. But if they're, say, uh, a military guy uh, positioned in a barracks deep down at, say, level one, um, you'll need... You'll need a, 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 a dining hall nearby, some food stocks, some drink stocks, so they don't go up 100 Z levels just to go to that hall. If they're doing nothing, then yes, that's fine. They'll go to their, uh, the meeting hall. But as it is, that's where we're going to have our meeting hall. And immediately, the guys that were based up here, uh, they will now no longer idle up there. They will now idle down in this meeting hall. Very simple. Uh, so that's your food, your drink stocks, your meeting hall sorted out. Uh, what do we need next? We need bedrooms. Bedrooms is what we need. Uh, I'm just going to place this table here. Uh, so we want to get some bedrooms on the go. Great. Let's get a bedroom on the go. Okay. This this is something I've been doing lately, and I've been moving to the uh, a style of bedroom. It just probably completely misses the point of the efficiency, which I don't really use. <laughs> this isn't that efficient, uh, especially with the one doorway. One doorway. Uh, the point of doorway uh, of passageways is if there's a one like that like I think you just saw my my carpenter and and, and planter pass each other uh, there you go there you just saw it there they they bumped they bumped into each other now knock into each other because there's not a big enough gap technically that should be too wide or three wide which yeah I might do later on but as it is at the moment I'm not that fussed about it uh, later on when we got like ridiculous amounts of um, of dwarves on the go yes I will do that uh, for now I'm gonna make uh, leave it as is. So let's make a bunch of rock crafts actually because the first thing we're going to have is our trader is going to come along and we're going to have nothing to trade. So this is our crafts dwarf. So we'll do A, rock, and now we're going to make mm, just make rock crafts. Just have, him, just have him knocking out rock crafts and we'll just have him repeating that. So he's just going to start knocking out those rock crafts. I'm good with that. Uh, so that's all we want. The jeweler hasn't made anything yet. or The jeweler workshop hasn't been made, sorry, I should say. And that's because we haven't got a jeweler. Simple as that. So if we went to our dwarf therapist and we looked at the jeweler, which is somewhere here. Actually, gem cutting, gem setting. I have got one. Why has it not been made? Hmm. Interesting. Is it? Is it? Needs gem cutting or gem setting? It's got. It's got it. <laughs> Just waiting for the guy to come along and do it, I guess. It's probably my mason. It's probably why he's busy and he's not come to do it. Uh, so what do we want? We want bedrooms. Right, okay. I'm going to blow your mind with these things. In fact, th there's so much you can do with bedrooms. It can get so convoluted and strange. Uh, let's go back to our, our dwarf therapist. And let's have a look at the bedrooms. Uh, there, there's... Um, sorry, it's bedroom design I want. Bedroom design. Okay. We've got a lot of things. And the fact that there is... 
Oh, okay, we've just done a migrant wave. We'll go back to that in a second. Uh, so, the bedroom design. Okay, the, the, the fact that you can see there is an entire uh, whole area designed to bedroom design, you realise this is this is a pretty big point for the for the dwarf therapist uh, dwarf fortress community sorry uh, so there's various things that people say they need they don't need one by one bed no walls etc I personally um, used to do the three by three bedrooms I can however see the argument so here you can see the decentralized living this is one idea um, it works very well and you have a dining hall the barracks and a bunch of bedrooms uh, especially later on the levels um, you could also do crazy patterns um, what I've actually started to go into, high density quick floor stacking as well, uh, is the windmill. Uh, um, so if we scroll down here, we'll go to the, the the modified windmill villa. This is what I've started using. Um, I'll zoom in and show you that. So this is what I've started doing. So there you can see what it is. It's straight, it's a 3x3, three 3x1 three, uh, three rooms. Uh, with the stairs in the middle, there's me three by three stairs. There's the floors, there's the walls, there's the doors. Simple as that. Uh, it's a little tricky to make, and it actually looks like a Nazi symbol when you're first making it. Less than ideal, I've got to be honest. Uh, not not the ideal type of thing, but um, that is what I'm going to go with, and I'm going to create that underneath my uh, underneath my main. Area. I'm just going to go down a bunch of Z levels on that. This is this is dangerous now because if you dig too deep down, you may you may bump into and actually may not even be deep down. You may bump into a cavern, which I thought for a second I had just done, and I was slightly slightly worried. Ah, yes, I think I've just found a flux stone. Granite wall. Yes. Excellent. We've got flux zone, so we have full-on steel production capa capabilities here. Uh, and castorite, actually. Cassitrite. Not sure on that one. And tetrahedron. Okay. Tetrahydrite. Let's have a look at that one. Let's see exactly what that does. Cassidrite. This is see, even I, I, I'm, I'm far from. Oh, good lord. Let's zoom out a bit. Zoom deep. I'm too zoomed in again. Uh, so, what's that called? Cass. Cassit. Alright. Cassit alright. Uh, is bronze. It's a tin ore. Okay, so good. Okay, we got we got tin. Not that great, to be fair. Don't really care about that. If I'm 100% honest. Mainly for the fact I've got stone. So let's just whiz that over there. And let's go back to our where we wanted our bedroom design. So, what we're going to do with the bedrooms, you can see. Uh, let's go with the pattern. I'm going to go with the. Why are you not digging? Don't know. Doesn't want to dig out for some reason. Uh, so, that's that area around it. And then, pretty straightforward actually. It, it goes along the lines of, of the same layout that I've been using. But now they're just going to be doors. So all you do now is, yes, you guessed it, it looks like a bloody swastika. I know it does. Not intentional. It's purely the fact that this is the, the most efficient type of buildings uh, you can do. So then you have uh, a room there. And you have a three room there. And then you have a room there. And then you have a corner there. And then that bit goes down along here. It's it's really, really, really confusing. I know. Um, and then you have another room there. And another room there. Not that exciting to watch, I've got to be honest. As, as, as spectator sports go, this probably isn't that intriguing. Uh, but let me explain why it's, why it's like this. It's, it's merely for the fact that this is the most efficient path. And this is this is what the the dwarf fortress community is all about. It's all about efficiency, and I can see where they're coming from. Um, so it's basically the shortest route possible with the most the most uh, bedrooms in one spot. And what this is going to do is going to put 28 bedrooms of three by one. So you can see what the bedroom is. You, th this is going to be the bedroom area. So you're going to have the bed, a cabinet, uh, a, a, a drawer or something like that, and a cabinet, and then the door. And that's what it is. Honestly, I'm not sure this is probably the best method anymore. There may be better methods out there. You guys, please feel free to chip in with any sort of thoughts on this. Um, 
now the fact that we have got vampires involved, a lot of people don't have doors, don't use doors, etc. like that. So there's there's a number of, of, of different things that, you know, possibly you could be wrong, could be changed, could be done differently, done better. Uh, you guys probably know it better than me. If you if you're veteran Dwarf Fortress players or, you know, if you've just read up on the on the a bit better than I have, then yeah, feel free to tell me and I'll see about doing it differently. I'm certainly not want to change. It's only actually lately that I've started doing it this way. And you can see I don't use the mouse. <laughs> uh, and I just did that one wrong, didn't I? Yes, I did. If you ever do make a mistake, just use X. This is very straightforward to get rid of it. And again, that one goes there. And there. And there, and there we go. And that's what we're going to get out towards to dig that out. That's that's what's called a modified windmill villa. So you can have 28 dwarven rooms. Um, and look, they've even got full on calculations. Level needed for 200, you need 7.1 levels of these. Uh, 200 is the max, by the way, max amount of dwarves you can have. Uh, max distance, including Z levels, 15. Uh, that's from corner to corner. Uh, the average distance travel is 10.2, and the average distance per level is 5.4. So they've really put uh, the maths into the back end of this one, and uh, it seems to be the most accepted solution. Uh, so it's great. Okay, so they're going to be digging that out. Wonderful. What do we need? We need beds, don't we? You know, they're going to dig that out. We've got no beds. At the moment, we've got a guy making wooden bins. Um, we need beds. We've got all these new dwarfs come along. Let's have a look at dwarf thorough. Therapist. Let's see what we got. Let's read. Okay, so we only got two. We got away with it. We got away lightly. We got away very lightly. Um, you're going to be a fisher dwarf. We, only, uh, uh, we didn't get away lightly. Uh, what that actually means is my fortress is crap. <laughs> if, I, if I'm being 100% truthful, that means my fortress is crap, therefore only attracted to other dwarfs. Uh, and honestly, this is probably going on for quite a while, but I, I just want to get this bedroom set, set laid out. So this is this is going to be layout. I'll, I'll hopefully it'll get finished and completed, and you can see as it's laying out what it looks like and how it looks in comparison to this. This is what we're aiming for, and this is what's happening. And I think you find it's going to be pretty much bang on. If I've not done that many of these. This is kind of like only the second game where I've really picked up on this theory, and, and I used to use 3 by 3s but 3 by ones and that's all they really do need. And the argument behind it also is the fact that if you have 3 by 3 rooms, when you get the nobles come along, then suddenly you'll get if, uh, for example, like that room that's just happened there. So they've just made that room in gem. Uh, there's, there's gems on the wall. So if I come around and smooth this out, that's going to be really a nice room. They're going to it's going to be very expensive. So your nobles will get jealous of the fact that that guy's got a legendary room or something like that, you know. If it was 3 by 3 and it was like gems all around the room and you sh sh uh, smooth the stone down and engraved it etc, they'd be getting jealous. So suddenly they'd be like, "Well, he's got a better room than I have." Uh, which is where the problem arises. So it's it's kind of better that uh, you just have these standard rooms. It keeps them happy. It's got the happiness levels just about at a premium. Um and really, you want to aim at keeping them happy in other ways. Um, which, you know, there's very, there's a lot of things you can do with Dwarf Fortress to keep the dwarves happy. Uh, but the ultimate thing is you don't want a tantrum spell. So there we go. That is that is the bedrooms completed. And if you can't quite see what's happening, so they are going to be beds in each corner point and doors, etc. Um, and I'll come back to them and show it you later. But uh, it's not the greatest to look at at the moment. I am aw I'm aware of that fact. Um... That jet. Build a couple more tables, shall we? Should we build some back up here. Get a little bit of design behind it. Is that jet? We'll have a jet door on there. Siltstone one there. And a siltstone thrown there. And let's throw some doors on. Kind of a door there. And I wanted some doors up here, didn't I? Because these are, this is the graveyard. So we need a door in there so to keep the miasma back. We need to do a door in there because that's where our rubbish is going to go. I think I'll call that it for this episode. I kind of rambled a little bit in this episode. It's been a little bit disappointing, but it's the problem when you're at the early stages of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, you are trying to get things done, trying to get a lot of things done. These are the bins, by the way, that I talked about earlier. So you can see, if we if we K and have a look at these, uh, you can see there's just ashen bins, uh, gem bins, and it's put the put the gems inside the bins. Um, now, I want to uh, cut these gems. But I don't want to do too many at the moment. The gem shop hasn't been built, so it's not a bigger deal. Um, but I don't want to overdo it, mainly for the fact that 
Sometimes you'll have moods later on and they'll be looking for a gem. So I just make sure I keep, leave a couple there for now. Um, but that's it. This is D-Man bringing you a Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Hopefully uh, things won't go completely wrong. And I'm, I may just let it run for a little bit and then, then come back to you while uh, things are starting to get a little bit more efficient.